Today is a test day. Attention to detail skill. Attention to detail. I'm gonna go around the boat and I'm gonna change or identify between five and 10 things that are likely to cause injury, likely to cause chafe or damage to the boat. Got putting it. it down, or are you pointing it the right way? Point the right way. I'm putting it down. Get it. No. You're pointing it. Oh. No, a little to the left, a little to the right. I'm gonna go down below, put headphones on, and listen to music while he be a bad boy. Okay, let's have some fun. Hopefully, Nicole's not cheating and she can't hear me right now. We're gonna start in the cabin. First thing I'm gonna do is switch the radio to the frequency that we don't normally monitor. Going from channel 16 to channel 17. I'm gonna turn on one of the engine electrical, the connection from the battery to the engine. So one more live wire that doesn't need to be right now. So see if she catches that. Now I'm going into the galley. I'm going to turn on the switch for the cooking gas. It's still turned off at the master DC panel, so this doesn't actually create a hazardous condition, but it's just one of those little attention to detail things. We have the dinghy up in the davits right now, and it's secured with a line around the winch. So we're going to unsecure it and just sort of loosely wrap it around the winch and see if she catches that. We are going to partially open a clutch. So we're gonna set up a trip hazard. I'm gonna take this can of cleaner. I'm gonna put it down there next to the radar. Okay, this one isn't really any huge big deal from a safety perspective. We're gonna put one of the throttles a little bit back. Let's uh, just have one of those latches wrong. Now we're gonna move forward. Okay, we're at the mast. I am going to actually uncleat the jib halyard. So it's still gonna be held by the clutch. It won't be cleated. And that's, um, that's an important one. We have an anchor bridle. So there's two lines leading down to the anchor and sometimes they slip a little bit. So we mark them so we can see if they've slipped or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and intentionally let one out a little bit. So I moved it quite a bit. I wanna set up a, a chafe situation, but for the boat's pretty well set up to avoid that. Actually, here's a pretty good one. This is actually something that she did. She went down this morning to get some stuff for us to do some maintenance. She left one of the latches open on this hatch. I do the same thing sometimes. Good one. We're gonna let the, uh, the dinghy's bow line get really slack, which sucks because if there's boat wake or anything like that, it causes the dinghy to be more likely to swing, which puts strain on the davits and creates chafe and all the rest. We still need a chafe point. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is we tie off the helm because this boat doesn't have a locking helm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it once around the main sheet. Where they cross, as this line moves, it creates a little bit of a chafe point. Not a serious one, not one. I know what we'll do, we'll leave a winch handle out. I'm gonna put the winch handle right next to this seat. Okay, let's go get her and see if she finds some of these things. You ready? Okay. <laughs> she's learning how to go down. She's already pretty good at that, but she's learning how to do it with a different snorkel. <laughs> I'm not gonna make these jokes anymore. They're kind of forced. They're, oh, no. they're too easy. <laughs> it, is, it, it is, huh? It's just like on, it's constantly what I'm thinking. This begins now and finishes when you say you're done. Okay, I'm starting. Ah, number one. Where are you going? I'm done. I can't see anything else. Okay. okay. You, you did okay. You missed a lot of them. No, I didn't. You weren't, you weren't oblivious to attention to detail and you knew how things should be. Yeah. But you missed a lot of really important ones. With the clues from Ryan, I walked the decks again and found the items I missed. That's it. That was the ones in the cabin. That's, how do you, how do you think you did overall? A 75%. Yeah. I should do it to you, too. Let's do it right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, now it's my turn. These four. Trip hazard. Take. He'll catch this. Take the knot out of this one. You unlock the 
lock. And I'm gonna stick it out like this so it's a nice toe catcher. Not closed all the way properly. One more. I caught this not closed all the way once, actually. I don't wanna do that for too long. Okay, babe! I would, I would, I would play in my <laughs> I'm done. Okay, you almost got them all. Uh, one is at the mast. You put the line back in, but I'd taken the stopper knot out. Ah. <laughs> good one, huh? Good. Yeah, <laughs> and the next one is in the cockpit. We're gonna catch your things now? Yep. So I did okay. You I did missed great. one, and I missed an important one. I missed the stopper knot in the line, so I'm impressed and I'm grateful that you tested me on that one. High five. And as a reward for our good job in our attention to detail skills test, the wind gods have said, you may go kiting. You! So that's what we're going to do. Turtle! possible by viewers like you. Click the link for more info. Do I